Kabam! We're back. Gardner Minshew review. 97 overall. Ding Diamond Builders 2. Let me know who you want to see next down below. I actually did make partner program um, yesterday. So I do appreciate all the support, guys. I did not think it was going to come that fast. So I really am very grateful. Is he worth the coins? We're going to find out in this video. If you liked the video, put a like on the video. I appreciate it so much. It really helps me. Now, it's kind of cool that he actually does get escape artists. And that's going to be something that's going to set him apart from some of the other quarterbacks. Um, but the Team Builders quarterback seems like most of them do get escape artists. Um, I will tell you right now, he is not as good as Wentz. For sure. Um, I would do pick Wentz over him. Now, Gordon Minshew doesn't have a power up, so that's a that's a problem. 93 throwing power without a power up means he's not going to be able to get the ball out and about fast as you want. You have to really boost this guy up. This is going to take quite a bit to work around him. So that's a negative. Right now, getting 99 throw power is pretty necessary because a lot of players defense right now are already 99 speed so if you don't have the ball speed to get it in there it's going to be tough i always call it ball speed not really throw power um but he does do well in the gameplay getting the ball in there but if you play a top top tier team it, it's going to be rough he is not going to be a top top tier quarterback but it's a fun name and so i figured i'd do the review on him I got him for about 340 right now. He's flirts the race between there and about 290. And there's Marcus Allen going crazy. That card's really good. He's my starting running back. Powered up. Minchu. He's here. His carries a C. He'll drop it. All the time. Just like most quarterbacks. Some quarterbacks hang on a little bit better, but he does not do good in that category. He will put the ball on the ground quite often. So, don't don't feel like you need to be risky. But look at this. That's that's a nice little play there. Um, his moves are an F, spinning and juking. Cancel it. You're not going to do it. Not going to work. So, if you do escape artist, you're going to need to get out, run straight, and slide. Don't, don't try to be magic man out there like Vic or something. His elusiveness and everything is just not... Not good. He feels like he's a tight end running. And not a George Kettle tight end. Um, there you see the juke. Yeah, you see how good that worked. Accuracy's an A, though. Yeah, all of his accuracies are extremely high if they're shorter range. Because you're going to need the throwing power to get it way down there quicker on deep passes. But as far as hitting the mark, he was fine. Now, I did have him miss... A couple passes from the pocket that I didn't feel like he had pressure. So that was a little confusing because this, what, throw under pressure is 96 stock? That's kind of crazy. So he was not actually perfect in that. Throwing power is A minus, guys. It's not even going to be an A or A plus. Uh, I would really, really recommend getting up higher or just picking a different quarterback. But I have nothing against Gardner Minshew. He's a fun guy to watch. You see there, he makes an easy read for a Rice touchdown. And then you have the throwing on the runs in A, guys. He's pretty consistent. Um, doesn't mean that he will be the guy in a fourth quarter you want to just, oh, I just want to throw it on run just for fun. I'd be cautious how you use it. He was okay for me. He's pretty accurate, but do not rely on that. It's my suggestion. I never want to cost you a game for that. Throwing under pressure is a B plus. I figure it was on and off with him. Um, sometimes he was in the pocket and he just threw the ball away under pressure. I watched some of the film back and that was a little bit weird to me. If my voice is a little bit different, it is because I am completely sick. And your goals don't wait for you to be sick, so I gotta make a video, right? Um, see right there, he does. He can pick up some space. He's a little sneaky fast. He can. He makes people pay not paying attention. However, guys, Garner Minshew, he is 
you don't have a brake stack of a B. His rating's a little higher on the card for some reason. He he does not break sacks. I think I had him break one sack out of about 13 games I used him. So don't think that's a thing because it's not. Overall, he's a B plus. Is he worth the coins? I say absolutely not. There's other quarterbacks go for the same price or better than him. Always help others for no reasons. Always the message of the video, guys. We have enough hate in the community. We have enough, you know, people putting each other down. Just encourage each other, guys. Help each other. Love each other. Dak Prescott or Gardner Minshew? I am going to tell you right now. If the answer is going to be Dak Prescott. That Prescott card plays better than this card. I can promise you that. So if that's your question, there's your answer. And guys, make sure you always turn, stay tuned to the end of my videos because this is what I do. I break them down against other quarterbacks. Carson Wentz or Gardner Minshew? It's going to be Carson Wentz. Is going to be a better card. I can tell you that. Being 6'5", getting the ball released higher, I do like that. As um, far as getting batted down and stuff, being 6'5", release is a plus. Wentz does play better. If you have any questions about Carson Wentz, go watch my Carson Wentz review. It is on the channel. So is the Dak Prescott review. Comment down below what review do you want to see next. Is it Darren Waller? Who is it? Is it a wide receiver, John Brown? That's what I'm thinking. Russell Wilson and Gardner Minshew. Wilson needs a power up, and he's a lot more elusive. So I would pick Wilson over Minshew. Kurt Warner or Gardner Minshew. I would pick Minshew. It's a little more mobile. Gives you a different kind of option there. And so I would pick Minshew over Warner, actually, because he gives you a little bit of a different look with the escape artist. So, guys, any questions you have, let me know down below. It's much appreciated. I will be trying to go live on Twitch within the week. That is my goal. I'm trying to work on some things on that. If you guys have any questions about any cards, let me know down below. And maybe I can answer you. Sometimes YouTube comments are weird. And I don't really get the comment. And I click on it, it says it's removed. It's kind of weird, but I do try to answer questions as they come. Guys, thank you for everything. Thank you for the partnership I got approved for. I really am grateful. And thank you for putting a like on the video, guys. And I will see you in the next one.